everybody, it's Jason here. I'm trying out a new series, Everyday Zen, which will be capturing moments of life and trying to connect that to Zen practice. I'm here at a park here in Santa Clara, California. You can see it's a bright, clear, sunny day as usual. <laughs> it's a little bit cool. I have to say the, the selfie stick is a little interesting and maybe we can talk about that I don't know if you follow me on Instagram if you don't check out the link down below but I posted a picture recently it was a meme and it showed uh, a guy with this selfie stick so it's a selfie stick and right below there's a teacher hitting a student with a Zen stick and it, the meme says no selfie stick <laughs> so I kind of I'm getting the feeling of that uh, one reason is it feels uncomfortable walking around here with the stick, cars driving by, maybe wondering what the hell I'm doing. I'm actually asking myself that question. But when I look at it, I'm thinking, what is it that feels awkward? So always in our practice, it's using questioning to return to don't know. What is this about the selfie stick that's making me feel uncomfortable? I don't know. It seems odd, but if I ask this question, what is it that feels awkward? I have no idea. So from this place though, that's where it gets interesting. We talk about don't know mind, returning to the mind before thinking. And when I get to that place, then it's just the truth. It's just a stick with the phone attached to it. It's a little windy today. But also from this place of don't know too, we can start seeing our direction. You know, I always talk about why do the things we do, right? It's not the things that themselves that are good or bad, it's why we do it. So I'm definitely don't have this uh, phone and selfie stick to, uh, Try to get popular <laughs> or wanting people to recognize me this is not for me hopefully it's for you guys and i hope it's going to be helpful so i want to get some ideas from all of you who watch this channel about um, what you would like to see in this series i've been getting some feedback lately which has been great uh, people uh, can always email me about anything it's not a problem if you have any kind of question or any kind of input or something you want to see, just let me know in a, in a, uh, by email or you can put it down in the comments below what you want to see. So I remember uh, just listening to all the cars and traffic and earlier I said about the noise. But what makes things noisy? That's an interesting statement or question. Right? Because really, things are just the truth. Right now, the sun's shining, the sky's blue, wind's blowing through the trees, cars are driving. I think sometimes it's just that we prefer one experience and we try to push away other experiences. In the meditation instruction that I teach, I'm always talking about your posture, the breathing, uh, maybe doing a mantra, and then really investigating our own mind. Not trying to push away thinking and feeling and not holding on to it because a lot of us do that. So the cars driving by is not noisy or quiet. It's just the truth. The birds chirping right now, just the truth. The wind blowing is just the truth. When we can start seeing things as truth and not good or bad or quiet or noisy or adding like and dislike or anything like that, then that's not a problem. There's people at the park staring at me, <laughs> wondering what I'm doing. That's all the truth. There's nothing wrong with that. So most of you know I am in the process of uh, writing this book. I just finished part three waiting for the editor to look at it and give some revisions. 
Um, I have one more part to go, and then I have to write the uh, biography, some other things, and it'll be finished. April 14th, the book will be finished. It's going to go through a series of different editors and uh, sensitivity readers, whatever that is. And then hopefully it will be published. <laughs> But uh, I, yeah, I'm learning a lot from the whole process, especially this uh, maybe sometimes feeling of being overwhelmed by the whole thing because there's a lot of deadlines. There's a lot of material that has to be turned in at certain times. It creates a lot of pressure. And I notice that if I get stuck, it's just I get stuck in my own thinking about it rather than just letting it all go perceive what's in front of me and just doing that. So it looks like things are opening back up. I haven't been at the park, I have to say, in quite a long time. We have swimming lessons. I don't know if you can see that through there. There's people playing tennis. Um, our Zen Center in Berkeley is still closed. We're kind of waiting to see how everything's turning out. So in our county, at least in Santa Clara, we're in the orange tier. A lot of parts in uh, California are, are like that as well. Uh, opening things back up, like 50% capacity, things like that. <laughs> uh, we're just kind of waiting to see if things get worse or if they get better. And hopefully they will get better so we can start uh, opening our Zen centers back up and start doing practicing together physically, which is something a lot of our Sangha is missing. I know I am. Um, I usually do traveling at almost once a month to lead a retreat. I haven't done that in over a year. Um, I am grateful for the online Sangha and just the technology. I guess that's another thing too. We're talking about it's not the things themselves, it's how you use it and why you use it. Right? So technology can control us. We can get absorbed in it, lost in it, you know, use it as an escape. Or we can use technology to help other people. So this is one of the reasons why I created this channel. You know, many of you know that I teach in the online Sangha for Quantum School of Zen. I teach at Empty Gate Zen Center. And I'm also trying to build a project to reach out to people who uh, maybe don't have resources to have access to a teacher. I'm trying to make that possible. So a few of you know that I'm um, trying to get support for this project. So if any of you are interested, just let me know. And also maybe post down in the comments what you would like me to uh, record in these series. This is the first one, hopefully of many. And I hope it's gonna be helpful. My technology is not so good. I don't really have the funds right now to invest in anything amazing. This selfie stick costs 20 bucks. <laughs> I'm using my phone. I couldn't find a camera that I could easily get at the moment. So, wow, there's a lot of people here at the park. This is amazing. So anyways, I hope all is well. Let me know if you want to see more of these. And uh, as I always end my recordings, maybe starting now is have a clear day and hope to see you soon take care